Hello friends, welcome to the Azure DevOps tutorial series. In this tutorial, we will create a custom work item and custom work field in Azure DevOps. In the previous tutorial, we created an inherited process and based on that inherited process, we have created a project using that inherited process. So in this tutorial, we will see like how we create the custom work item and custom work field based on that new process project which we created. So let's go to the Azure DevOps portal and in this portal for go, uh, like going to that uh, process so what we have to do in the previous tutorial also we have seen like we have to go to the organization setting and under this one scroll down and we will see a process tab and once we go in this process tab we will see all the available process so this dotnet office process which we created in the previous tutorial and like if you will click on this three dotted button like we see all these options which we have discussed in the previous tutorial. So before proceeding with this tutorial, I recommend you please watch previous tutorial to understand because it is a continuation of the part 20. So let's click on this uh, process. And when we click on this process, so in the previous tutorial, what we did, we disable this existing work item. And when we disable this work item and like when we see uh, like when we go to create a new work item we are looking here we are not able to see that epic because we have disabled it from here so that is the first thing now what we want to do we want to customize that process work item or what we can say we want to create a work item from our side so what i can do i can click on the new work item and once we click on this new work item we can give the work item name so what i'm going to give i'm going to give dotnet office work item just like epic uh, issue and task this is also going to create a new work item and if you want to give any description you can give like i'm going to give same description here and from here if you want to select you can select any icon for this one as you need it so what i'm going to uh, do i'm going to select this work item sorry this icon and from here if you want to select any color you can select as your understanding purpose or your project requirement and once you done all these things you can click create and once we click on this create we will see a new work item which we have created so it is taking us to the layout page that will understand in the coming tutorial like how we know that and in a little bit we will understand a means basic of this layout page so before that let's go to the dotnet office process so once we go on that process we can see we are looking dotnet office work item here and let's refresh this page so once you refresh this page and go for the new work item let's click and we are looking like the work item which we created it is showing here so once we click on this a uh, new work item so it will show us the pop-up like we used to do for the epic issue and all these things and from here you can give any title like custom custom work item we can do means it's a title as needed we can give if you want you can assign to anyone and all these fields is looking similar to that and if you will save and close it will create a new work item and where we can see that you can go to that board and under this board if we will go into the work item we can see the custom work item which we created it is showing here so this is the way of creating custom work item in azure devops using the inherited process now the next thing is like the this is the work item which we created and when we click on this we are looking here layout tab state tab and rules tab so we will discuss all these things in the coming tutorial but in basic like what we understand so what is the basically a fields like what is the layout and what are the work field so here when we click on this so whatever we are looking like title assigned to description discussion deployment and everything whatever we are looking here under this work item all these things are the work field so if we want to customize these work field that also we can do like something if i want to add something we want to add it remove so all these things can be taken care using this work field so here suppose i want to add new work field so what we can do we can click on new field and from here we are looking like do you want to use existing work field or want to create a new field so suppose uh, you want to take anything like acceptance criteria 
so if i will click on this acceptance criteria we can click on add field and like we are looking here acceptance criteria and once we refresh this page currently we are not looking any acceptance criteria here once i refresh this page we will see uh, another tab or field like acceptance criteria here so in this way we can customize the work field also and like suppose now i want to show this work and acceptance criteria in this history page in this link page so where in the, like we can manage the layout also like all these work field so all those things uh, in briefly about the work item in, and all these work field we will understand in the coming tutorial so in this tutorial we have seen like how we create a new work item and how we give the uh, color to that work item and like how we manage that work item and under this work item and in short we understand like how we manage the work field and even for this work item we are looking for three dotted button from here you can edit it you can disable you can delete it as well and once we click on this edit we can see like um, this name we can't change it's a read only and description we can change icon we can change and color we can change so that's it for this tutorial if you have any question and doubt please comment thank you